Hi folks, Kyle here, back with another Godot tile set hack. Um, actually, this isn't a hack. I, uh, despite some pretty consistent complaining from myself in uh, the past about the new editor, this is a thing that uh, Grood added that is actually extremely powerful. Uh, I still haven't plumbed all the depths of it, so this is just a quick, you know, very short summary of how to do things. Um, to figure out how to do the various connections, you'll probably want to use something like Tile Setter rather than uh, what I did, which is just attempt to make every, make some of these things manually. But the basic approach here, uh, and I'm just going to get started. You can see we have an empty tile map, no tile set, nothing in it. Uh, there's just one layer, uh, and everything else is fairly normal. So I'll just go ahead and make a new tile set. Uh, I'm going to add a terrain set. I'm going to add another element. In fact, I'm going to add three elements. And the reason for that is I have three different types of terrain that can interact together. And let me show you what I mean by that. So the first one, we're going to pick pink. We're going to pick blue for this one. And we're going to go with a basically a yellow for the last one. And this is just to add some you know, high contrast between them. You're going to want to make these fairly high contrast with each other. It's important to have it be high contrast in the actual tile set as well so you can see exactly where you're placing things. But even more important for this particular problem is going to be having them contrast with each other and you'll see why here in a second. Okay so now we'll switch to the tile set uh, tab down here and I have this simple tile map over here made so I'll just click and drag that in and hit yes here. Um, note though, I've got uh, 32 by 32 tile size, so I'm just going to change this here. And for texture region, 32 by 32 there. Now note, it's all crapped up, so I'm going to actually hit delete first, and then bring it back in. You can just set the tile size correctly the first time, and it will fix that issue for you automatically, so you don't have to worry about it. Now, I'm not doing this with auto tile at the moment because um, the tile setter functionality seems to be a little bit wonky and or my brain is wonky, uh, but it should be pretty straightforward here to do what we want, so let me show you that. Um, so now we have the three terrains down here. You can see it saved my thing, so normally what you'd see is when paint comes up, it'll look like this for the terrains. Um, I would pick terrain set zero, terrain zero. I'm going to make this one terrain zero. So wherever I see that dark blue, I'm going to select it and paint it. Now for terrain one, which is, I'm picking this uh, lighter blue one, a little bit awkward, but should be okay. I do the exact same thing. Now you'll note I click on it once and that's just to select the tile initially and that's how Godot knows that it's ready to have a tile or rather a terrain put into it. So I'll select this one, make it the full thing, go across where all the white is. Now I made the um, tactical decision in my tile set. This isn't even a complete set of the actual possible combinations of these tiles because there's a lot to doing that. but you'll see over here we have this missing piece in the middle that is necessary in order to actually have it put one of these things in so I'm gonna just default to whatever the bottom one is I'm gonna make it the same color so in this case both are white we have the lighter blue here that's this one and we have the darker blue here that's this one pink okay now when we go to our actual tile map you can select one of these and I've got a race on so um, let's see if this works yep so that's good oh actually hang on we're not in terrain so that's the important part here um, I did do that in the terrains yes let me save here come back to the tile map uh, that is very weird why it's not showing up there we go okay trains are back sometimes it's a little finicky uh, I'm gonna try this real quick see what happens Okay, that seemed to work. Okay, that has the funny part. So, 
that has something something of a funny part up there so I'm gonna actually just select the tile and do the whole thing first and this is mostly just to demonstrate uh, what you know how powerful this actually is normally you would want you know proper auto tiles for everything presumably and uh, you can make some really pretty stuff with that so now what I'm gonna do is you know I'm, I've got the dark blue selected I'm gonna go to the auto tile and anywhere I click in here you see nothing happens which makes sense because it's already that tile but now I'm gonna go and say click here now you'll notice it split those two and turned it into the combination tile that I have for this for these two tile sets coming together I'm going to do the same thing over here it does the exact same thing except it switches to the white and dark blue now I go to terrain tile set 1 this is the lighter blue so we can click over here it does the exact same thing and you'll note because we uh, went to the bottom side of the tile with our thing for this particular set of tiles it will prefer to kind of put the top tile and the one below it rather than the tile you click on and the one above it um, blue doesn't do anything because that's or light blue I should say it doesn't do anything because that's what we're on white does the exact same thing and note it's selecting the correct one each time so we get the white now the white's in the center notice when we click the light blue the light blue is in the center dark blue dark blue there you go and so this is just how you do how you handle multiple uh, you know tile sets now merging together and I was surprised to have found this the other day it actually seems to be pretty functional so thanks Grood for uh, adding this I know I, I had a lot of complaints in the past about this tile set editor and I still think there's a lot of big improvements but this is a massive improvement that makes it way easier in the past you had to hack the uh, tile set script and it was just an absolute mess this makes it way way simpler if you have two tile sets that meet now you can define how they meet and which uh, merging squares mer merging tiles or um, you know the the definition between the two the borders between the two you can define what those are and it's fairly easy to actually say pick this one versus that one that's all for now um, if you like what you saw like and subscribe also you can support if you want down below and thank you very much have a good one